Open Lama is an open reproduction of Lama LLM. Okay, so this is from a group called Open LM Research. This is created by students at UC Berkeley to promote open source language model research. Okay, so Open Lama is a permissively licensed open source reproduction of Meta IIS Lama 7 billion parameters and 13 billion parameters trained on the Red Pajama dataset. So these model weights can serve as a drop in replacement of LAMA in existing implementations. So I wanted to try out this particular uh, model for text summarization using Langchain. Okay. Uh, so they have actually released the weights for the 3 billion, 7 billion and 13 billion parameter models trained on 1 trillion tokens. Okay. So the latest update is on uh, say 15th of June which talks about the 1 trillion token version of Open Llama 13 million parameters model. Okay. So I thought of trying it out um, because I'm doing it on Google Collab. I'm going to try out the 7 billion parameter model. Okay. Uh, because uh, there is not enough memory for the 13 billion parameter model. Okay. So let's go into the Collab notebook. Okay. So first I need to install a set of libraries, okay, including Langchain, Transformers, Accelerate, Anops, Bits and Bytes, okay. Um, then because, you know, Llama tokenizer makes use of sentence piece tokenizer, I had to install it, okay. Then what I do is that I import uh, from Langchain, I import Hugging Face Pipeline uh, from Transformers. Actually, I import auto tokenizer and pipeline, but I don't use auto tokenizer. I use Llama tokenizer and Llama for causal uh, language model basically from transformers. Okay. And I also import torch. Then model path is open LM research open Llama 7 billion. So this is given over here on how you can use this within hugging face transformers. So I looked into this part of the code. Okay. And we are using float 16 version over here for it to otherwise we don't have enough memory over here. So we'll be using that particular version. Okay. So here I'm instantiating the tokenizer and the model path is this open llama 7 billion parameters open LM research. And I'm also instantiating a model. Okay. From this llama for causal LM from pre-trained and giving this model path. Okay. And this is a GPU instance. Okay. Um, so I'm using the GPU instance over here. Uh, basically runtime is GPU runtime. Okay. And you can see over here is that when I run this basically, uh, you know, it occupies almost the entire GPU RAM. Okay. When I'm running this model. Um, so then what I do over here is that uh, I instantiate a pipeline. So because I'm using uh, what you call summarization, I wanted to do summarization. The task is text generation. Okay, model um, is model, tokenizer is tokenizer, and um, you know, I'm using torch B float 16 as this thing. And then, um, uh, device trust remote code is equal to true for using the model, then device map is auto. Okay, uh, my input max length I've given as 1000 over here, and I want to return the top, uh, you know, uh, I want to sample the top 10 sequences or uh, this thing generated, but I am returning only one. Okay. That's the thing over here. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is that once I instantiate this model, it actually downloads the model, everything, and it sets up uh, this pipeline, right? Then I can create LLM is equal to basically this particular hugging face pipeline. Okay. Uh, and then what I do is that from Langchain, I import a prompt template and LLM chain. Okay, so my template is very simple. The template is write a concise summary of the following text delimited by triple back quotes. Return your response in bullet points, which covers the key points of the text. Okay, here is my text, my input parameter text. Okay, and this is bullet point summary. So uh, the model should actually generate the bullet point summary over here. So this is my prompt template. Okay. So then I create prompt is equal to prompt template. I pass this template and input variables is equal to text, right? And I create a LLM chain over here with this prompt and LLM is equal to my language model, which comes from this hugging face pipeline. Okay. 
So that is what I do over here. And then here is my text. Okay. I just took some text from open uh, from Llama, basically from Meta AI's blog for Llama and I've pasted it over here. This talks about Llama basically, right? And once I can now run and get the output as LLM chain dot run and I pass this text over here as parameter. So this is the output which is generated, which says Llama is a foundational large language model designed to help researchers advance their work in the AI subfield of natural language processing, which has a wide range of potential applications. Llama is designed to be versatile. So it has actually generated a bullet point summary. Okay. So then I wanted to try with another text. So here I pulled out some information about Tesla from Wikipedia. So this is my text. And I, again, I say LLM chain dot run text. Okay. This is the bullet point summary, which has been generated, but I also see some extra text being generated over here. Okay. Um, say Tesla is a company that develops and manufactures. So again, it's kind of a summarization. I just wanted the bullet point summary, but it has given me some extra lines over here. Sometimes this part actually changes. Okay. We can try with another example also over here. Possibly I'll pull Apple from Wikipedia. I'll pull some information on Apple. Let's see. Okay. Apple link basically. Let me copy from here. Okay. Let me copy this text. Right. And let me put over here. Equal to. Okay. Right. And then I copy print LLM chain dot run text two. Let's see what kind of a summary gets generated over here. Take some time for it to generate the summary. A uh, couple of seconds. So let's just wait for it. Okay. So in the meanwhile, we can look at, uh, you know, what other things are updates from open LLM, uh, basically from open Llama over here, right? So they have actually explained how you can, uh, you know, load these weights with the hugging face transformers, which is what I've explained, how you can evaluate with LLM eval harness over here. Uh, so how can you actually evaluate this particular model? Um, you can also evaluate using the ECLM framework. Okay. Um, so it talks about that here. They talk about the data set, right? Um, so this is trained on red pajama data set released by together, which is a reproduction of the Llama training data set containing over 1.2 trillion tokens. So they follow the exact same pre-processing steps and training parameters at the original Llama paper, including model architecture, context length, training steps, learning rate schedule and optimizer. The only difference between our setting and the original one is the data set used. Open Llama employs the red pajama data set rather than the one utilized by the original Llama. Okay. Then they talk about how they have trained and other things. So I'll be putting this link. You can check it out. Let's see if our results are generated. Yeah. So now if you see over here, it doesn't really generate a bullet point summary, but it generates a summary over here. Apple is the first company. Uh, you know, Apple Inc is an American multinational technology, second largest company by market capitalization. Apple is the first company valued at more than 1 trillion. Third most valuable company by company was founded. Original name was Apple. So it's generated a good summary over here. Okay. Let's see if it's actually reproducing the same sentences over here. Uh, let's see. Apple is founded. Multinational technology headquartered. Oh no. Okay. Not exactly same to same. It's not a, just a copy of the input text. It is actually done a summarization over here. Okay. But uh, I think this was okay. The company was founded was here. It is Apple was founded on April one by Steve and Steve Jobs and Ron Wayne. Okay. Original company name was Apple computer company with the name changed to Apple in 1977. Okay. So it has generated a summary. So you can actually use these models for your various tasks. You can also fine tune this model on your data set for downstream tasks. So this was a short video on open llama uh, with the collab demo on how you can, you can use it for summarization using Langchain. 
I hope this video is useful for you. I'll be putting the link to this GitHub page of OpenLama as well as the collab notebook. You can check it out. Uh, if you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.